Hey, good morning guys. Good heavy frost last night. Turns into a dew once the sun comes up. Par for the course this time of year. Gage and I are going to walk back and check on the hunting blind. Just make sure no big branches or anything have fallen on it that is still standing. And along the way, we're just going to go slowly. We're going to enjoy sunrise and maybe do a little bit of hack shack because my neck hairs are going crazy this morning. I always forget to run the camera in director's view for you guys. And yes, I forgot the, uh, the action, DJI action I like to put on my pack sack, but I'm not wearing a pack sack today, so we're just phone and camcorder. That's what we've got, but just to spice it up, I'll give you guys a little director's view. You can see there's no leaves left on the trees now. They're all down on the ground. I didn't bring a camera with me today. I have just the phone, but I did manage to get some really cool close-up photos of the heavy dew on the leaves and some fall color this morning. So check these out. Right after Gage stops being on alert here. I did bring the action camera with me the other day. We did a little bit of a run back to put the trail camera back up on the hill that it's been sitting on for the last three and a half years. And uh, I got a bit of footage from that day. It started to rain, but I'll show you guys that little adventure. It was pretty quick, like a 20 minute run. But I wanna go through it just because we've been getting disembodied voices in the last videos. I can't explain it. They're there, guys, that's all I can say. Who is talking to us on the camera equipment? I don't know. It's a worldwide phenomenon. It happens all over the place, right? We're not making this up. It's real. What is it? I don't know. But I'll give them a chance to speak much more clearly uh, through the use of the apps. And we'll fire up Hack Shack and Necrophonic here shortly as I'm walking along. To do that we'll have to switch to the camcorder and you guys will lose. Oh no wait, we can do, we can still do director view on here. I forgot, yeah. It's not as good but we can still do it on here. Okay, let's do that. Let's switch over and we're going to fire up Hack Shack as I walk along. There we are. I'm a little more claustrophobic. I'm a little closer in this one but... Any forest spirits with us today? You guys have been coming through and leaving a lot of messages on my camera. Want to use this app? Come through this device. Morning. Who's with us in the woods today? So 
So to get to the hunting blind, I actually have to go down this trail, down there, and then up into the woods that way. But if we just go down here another 200 meters, we're at the creepy corner. So we're gonna detour to the creepy corner first. There's a shiver. Same a little prayer of protection. We are, creepy corner. Big stone granite outcropping right here. Did that say my name? Full shivers going down the back of my neck, right down my legs. I was gonna walk over here and show you guys a closer view of the rock. Female voice. Pretty sure it said my name. If I touch this rock, can I draw energy from it? Say something when I touch the rock. Sending out white light. <laughs> Same voice. Don't know what it said. Thank you, that's awesome. As soon as we got here, they started coming through. Not a thing before we got to the creepy corner. Who's here? Who am I talking to? Are you the one who left the message they glow on the camera the other day? That's a nice big split red pine right there. Monster of a pine. I have the phone screen to set off, to set to shut off at the 10 minute mark. Drop my phone. So we know that was 10 minutes of running the hack shack, and we got two responses so far. All right, we're gonna make our way back to the hunting blind down that other trail. The woods are so pretty this time of year with all the moss. Brown ferns. Oh, I was gonna say it's not kicking off too bad, but there's a shiver. Quite often before they talk, there's another shiver. It goes off.
right. It's my spirit team here with me. Yeah, full shivers. As soon as I started to ask that, waves of shivers now hitting me. Wind is kicking up. a different voice. No idea what that said. Are you on my spirit team? That voice? Full waves of shivers. Coming through loud and clear now, all right down my arms, guys, right down my hands. Clearly there is a female trying to communicate with me. It says my name twice, Gary Find, would show if she could, and Gary, she sends you love. Who? I'm confused. Definitely female trying to communicate with me out there. I get the feeling that that's my spirit team. We've got to press on. We've got to check on that hunting blind. I get the feeling that they don't like me going back here, that it's not the safest place. But they're always with me. Protecting me, I know it. Sending out more white light. There was a voice in that static, I could very faintly hear it. Just started necrophonic. Full shivers. Tell the cops, tell the cops. They're talking about the Jack and Carol murder mystery again. Oh, waves of shivers. I didn't ask for that. And as I've told you guys before, I have no control over what comes through when I turn this thing on. That is, that case is now a part of me. I can't, I can't shut it off. They come through when they want to. I'm gonna turn it back on. I hope that's not all that we get coming through, but sometimes you never know. Bigfoot or Gary <laughs> gets stuck with a uh, murder case from the other channel, but you know what? This is real. They come through, they decide what to say and tell me. I have no choice in the matter of what we hear. Look guys, I don't know what to say other than the fact that this is real 
and they're talking about the murder case that we did on the other channel. If you're not familiar with my other channel, we did a 30-part series on this murder, and it's saying all the names, okay? Jack was murdered, and here it is saying, Jack, run, blood. Okay, we know Jack got shot in the head twice. So... I cut out a huge chunk in the middle of this because it kept going on and on and on. So this is the end of when I'm walking up to the hunting blind and they're still talking about the murder case. And it says something that intrigues me. I'm going to just throw it out there. Dale. I have asked who the hell is Dale. It talked about Dale before. And very faintly in the background, it said something about the morgue and the ticket. So I don't know who Dale is, and I've tried to track down a list of all the police force from this city from 1969. I think Dale was a friend of Detective Black's, either another detective or something, and he had something to do with covering this up. But I can't prove it. If I can find out who Dale was, and if there was a Dale involved in this case, guys, there is no proof of that right now, but multiple times... It's in my notes from before, who is Dale, and it says Dale again. So anyway, I'm going to skip ahead and see if we can get the next section. If it's not talking about this bloody murder anymore, we'll continue. But like I say, I have no control over what they talk about. Whoever was with us on the walk-in, are you still here? I know you're still here. Can you come through again on our hack shack? Chair is still inside, that's a good thing. The front window was open, which is a little strange. 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 Our Bigfoot Forest Spirits. People Bigfoot. Does Bigfoot leave the voices on my camera? What was that strange bright flash in the sky that we captured the other day? That's weird. <laughs> the app is not working. I've never seen that before. It's on. As I mentioned in the last video the other day, guys, we were out on an adventure and I saw the sky flash like that before and we didn't get it on camera. The exact same thing. So I've seen it happen twice. And just to reiterate, the other morning, it was frosty. So below zero degrees Celsius, not heat lightning. There was no thunderstorms. There was no thunder and lightning. And it only happened once. I don't believe it was a camera glitch because it didn't do it again the whole 45 minutes that I was pointing the camera into the same morning sky with the sun coming up. I thought maybe, and some of you proposed that it could be like a, an HDR thing with the camera, but HDR wasn't on and we were not in intelligent auto. We were in manual settings. So it wasn't any of those. I've never seen the camera do that before and it didn't do it again for the almost hour that we were recording in those same uh, instances and if it was a glitch if you look at that scene again the sky flashes like it just lights right up it doesn't happen in the bottom half of the screen where the ground and the trees are I don't notice it I, I looked repeatedly trying to say you know is this something that happened over the whole lens the whole recording I don't think so it's just the sky strange Our Bigfoot Forest Spirits. Are Bigfoot the ones leaving the voices on the camera? Oh, full shiver. I just had the name of somebody I was going to ask about, and you guys know who. Is Mahis a Bigfoot? Is there a portal on this property? Tell me 
Tell me about it. What comes through this portal? I think it's time to get out of here, guys. I just, I'm getting overwhelmed with the sense of creepy being watched right now. Look at Gage. He freaking senses it too, he keeps looking over there. That's the trail home. And that's where we just heard whistling from, right down here somewhere. It's creeping me out, guys. Super strong feeling of being watched right now. Yeah, this is where the acorns were. <laughs> All the acorns are gone, just a couple of tops. There's a deer trail right there, and there's a, a buck using this trail, leaving a scrape here on the ground. Oh, that feeling that there's somebody behind me. like the other day? Make the sky flash. the wind coming through the forest from that direction right there it was just coming through even Gage stopped and looked he heard it I thought I just heard a knock from that direction there knock for me Push a tree over. You've done that before. I'm recording. I'd love to capture that. Cage is on alert. Yeah, I saw you sniffing. 
right, guys, I've got a ton of stuff to analyze, so thanks for joining me. Hopefully we got some cool stuff. There's a lot of replies on there, so you'll already have heard it, but right now it's still a mystery to me, so I gotta go home and figure it all out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next adventure.